Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Women in Midlife. Uh, we have today a very successful corporate lady who ventured into doing her own business in a business uh, sector that uh, I will let her explain to you. But she's also an accomplished writer and one of the books that she's written is called Human Race 4.0, The Science of Getting Ahead in the New World Order. It's a mouthful, but <laughs> don't go away with <laughs> Susha coming to us in a little while. Stay tuned. Hey, hi. Hello, hi. Good morning. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everybody. I'm Suze. Uh, I came from uh, my, my background are largely in the corporate uh, area. So I came from more than over 20 years uh, working in uh, MNCs and uh, consulting firm, uh, largely in the areas of uh, business strategic planning. <clears throat> then help them to look into um, how to pivot, how to transform the organizations. Especially a lot of companies today are looking at like they have to transform their businesses um, as the, you know, post, we call it the post-pandemic economy, the digital economy. Mm. It's very different from before. Yeah, right. So a lot of companies are going through changes, either digital merger acquisitions or even their product and services, they're actually pivoting, they're changing. Yeah, so I actually get involved in uh, helping them to assess um, uh, their unique propositions and to, are they actually in the right market or not. Yeah. Right. So we, you are one of those early adopters because you just turned the wonderful 50. Yay, welcome to the 50s club. <laughs> and, and you were one of those who really embraced uh, digitalization and all that, which gives you that edge and that on top of that, the you know, being uh, more mature, you have the wisdom and, and the knowledge to pivot and help companies pivot. Now, uh, what about for certain women who feel that, um, you know, maybe they are scared to embrace that new new world of like, doing business, uh, mm -hmm. what would be your advice for them? Mm -hmm. um, I always say, I always believe that every one of us has something that the world needs. Mm -hmm. yeah, so come back to like, what is our, you know, uh, what we value most? What is most important for us in life? Yeah, if you have been working before in the past, you know, which part about the work that you enjoy most? Mm -hmm. Is it like when you see your customer smile, when you see a, uh, when you are able to transform something, for me, it's when I'm able to, you know, increase sales or reduce costs or, you know, change, uh, significantly change a certain numbers in the organization. Wow. That sense of achievement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every one of us has that spark, right? What sparks you? Right. So start from there first and then only look out to the world. What is missing in the world? Mm. There's so many pains in the world, right? And there will be certain areas that people are willing to pay money and look for the solutions. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, as you know, with the pandemic as well, a lot of women uh, who are, you know, in the mid-50s, uh, either would have, um, I would say a majority, either would have opted for retirement mm -hmm. or uh, been asked to go, uh, let go due to that. But, and, and it's very hard, very hard for someone who's in their 50s to get back in the in the employment market due to the age factor. And it's really unfair, don't you think? Because we have so much that we can contribute and we're still able to, to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, but what would you, um, if someone is thinking about going into business, um, you know, let, let's go from the perspective of somebody who's worked and has working experience. And then secondly, for someone who's never worked and stayed home, but has the skill set of a accomplished multitasker as a mom and things like that, what would be the first, uh, the three things that they have to do before they, they decide on what business and how to get into the business? Mm. The first thing is, of course, for those who have uh, lost their job, either 
um, a painful choice, yeah, or by you know by force to go. Um, the first thing is always acknowledge the feelings that we have. And losing job, it's one of the biggest uh, traumatic experience that anybody can have. Mm-hmm. You know, we are not prepared to let go of the job, and then we are suddenly asked to go, let go. Right. And uh, the that that feelings, that emotion is similar to the feelings of uh, the emotions of when we lost our loved one mm-hmm. accidentally, right? Um, or when our loved ones or ourselves we suddenly found out that we have cancer. Yeah. for example right mm-hmm. so take the time to acknowledge that feelings right so that is very very crucial mm-hmm. uh, and the second step is look back to what you have done before what is important what is value to you what is what are you passionate about what are your strength what are the people what what are people t- saying that hey you are really good in this area right right and now i say 50 right it's like wow we have 50 years of valuable life experiences you know that that bring us to we begin to be very comfortable begin to acknowledge who we are our strength our identity our network you know the the things in the past the failure the success the learnings the lesson that we had right so it's a very good i call it 50 is like the next new journey to the next 50 because you know with medical science today a lot of us can be healthier than the previous generation right right mm-hmm. yeah. so the second one is uh yeah looking back to that strengths and everything else that we had right and what about what is the the third point is what pain in the world that we are passionate about solving mm. okay mm-hmm. and that factor there are a lot of pain in the world but not every pain people are willing to pay money to pay for exactly it. yes right yeah so look into um the, the one of the good way to do it is let's say for example we are passionate in cooking for example mm. right look at all the cooking show the gurus and whoever that you look out to and then look for what is still missing mm. at the comments look at the feedbacks what else is that common you know like cry out from the consumer and say oh do more of this right 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 yeah so this is where your niche is mm. so that that will also apply to uh you know the the housewife who's looking at uh finding something for themselves or supplementing uh family income and also you know it, it's like uh usually in the women in their 50s their children are uh, adult so there's less need for them and there's also a, a lot of them do get into some form of depression because there's no more, uh, they don't feel that they are useful to the family. And actually doing a business is, is a good way to kind of uh, build a skill set, help complement families' uh, income and things like that. And so you are saying that, okay, even if I'm a housewife, I sit down and actually write down what are my skills that I can actually uh, uh, be a beneficial the pros and the cons am i right to say that yeah i will say it's easier to write down what you're passionate about mm-hmm. yeah so f- from what you're passionate about do you have skills in those areas or not right but uh, there are a lot of people who find it difficult to find their passion so mm-hmm. what would what would you advise okay um one of the simplest way is just go to internet, Google it. I probably will develop that form too. <laughs> so, you know, um, the list of, uh, even with chat speed, there are so many already, right? List of passion, <laughs> right? right? And then you think, oh, okay, which one that, when I look at it, look at those words, like, oh my God, I like this, you know? Right. So uh, like Google, like list of hobbies or list of, uh, uh, list of values. Yeah, so passion is one thing, values is another. Uh, can you define values to the values is uh for example um honesty is important to me mm-hmm. yeah integrity or uh let's say um fairness is important mm-hmm. yeah some okay. people could be like um making people happy is important to me right. right be a kind person be a good person is important to me yeah those character those values what is important right okay mm-hmm. and and one of the the challenges um I feel a lot of women, I mean, not just women, even men, is that when you get to a certain age, you are quite reluctant for change. And and how 
because it, you, you you like things status quo even if the status quo is not really good you want to be in status quo because you, you don't want to rock the boat kind of thing what would be the best advice to get women to say hey snap out of it you know um for me i know that i i my my biggest thing is i i don't want to die thinking that i didn't even try oh my god that's what me too <laughs> Right. Yeah. So I wanted to at least say I tried it. So if I fail, I fail. But mm-hmm. at least I tried, and at least I know that okay, moving on, done it. You know that kind of thing, right? So what would you advise most women, especially who are quite scared because uh, it's a very challenging environment, especially the digital world. Um, how would you? advise somebody who wants to embark into that okay now there is a difference between those who are scared which is those who want to move forward but they are just scared okay mm-hmm. and also those who just felt that you know at this point of life i just want to relax i'm okay if if th- those who are at that category it's okay you know at the end of the day it's own the life that you want right Hey, now let's talk about those who are thinking of you know i'm still you know 50 is actually still young yeah i agree yeah so for those who want to move on and but fearful now one of the things that actually helps me to be able to look at there's the next x, x curve the next things that i can build you know mm-hmm. it's look at people who are 60 70 80. i actually have pictures of them right. my name is michelle yo <laughs> right so she's 10 years my senior right so i'll be like oh my god 10 years down the road who do i want to be i want to be a somebody like this i want to have a body like that right oh, yeah still looks good and things like that right and the other person is uh, i cannot remember her name uh elon Musk's mother oh me mask yes i love her i absolutely adore that woman i mean she must be 80s going on 80 she looks amazing <laughs> yes and the white hair is so beautiful okay yeah uh, the whole thing you know, and it i always believe that the beauty you know is coming from inside yeah, yeah. right yeah, yeah. I, I believe that so i yeah. in fact i think she just got some uh, a doctorate or phd recently and uh yeah i'm kind of a stalker because i won't follow her a lot <laughs> that's fantastic so we will always have uh, role models you know because then we can see how it looks like you know yeah. 10 years on the road 10 years on the road right right and uh, the other thing is i also saw that i mean through my work right i observed and saw that a lot of those who came out at the 40s 50s 60s right the percentage of uh, this group a uh, uh, success rate for this group is much more higher because we have the life experiences we have the what do you call that the network right network of people that we know we already know what we want to get into what we don't want to get into so it's easy for us to say no to many good things right. and just focus on the things that we want to build oh that's that's very true true i never thought about it because younger people yeah i, I suppose they they have the drive the energy but maybe not the the inside inside and the networking that most uh, older people would have. But it is something that um, yeah, I wanted to ask for the audience is that if someone is right at that stage and you know doesn't have a job but want to be still uh, contributing to society to the family, uh, what are the few questions that they should uh, ask themselves before deciding on a business because it's it's something that you you mentioned putting down um their their strength and weakness but besides that uh, is you know what about the monetary bit what about um you know what should they what noise should they put aside because there will always be noise Mm. always be noise so what would you advise? Mm. Yeah. Um, one of the misconceptions uh, about doing money is, uh, start, uh, sorry, doing business is we need a lot of money. Um, at 50 and above, right, we have a lot of life experiences. One of the, I call it the least capital business that we can go into is actually education. 
Okay. Yeah, teaching, right? Teach someone how to be a mother, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teach someone how to overcome uh, anything, you know, that at the younger age that we face. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so focus on the areas that they are, we are passionate about. Yeah. It could be being a mother. It could be how to grow in your career. You know, um, there are some people who are more towards that. It could be even how to start a business as a woman in a world that is like, you know, full of men. <laughs> yeah. 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 Precisely. So find the areas that you always have passion in overcoming it. And people, you know, just go to you and ask you advice in those areas. Because if people come to you and ask you advice in those areas, means that they see that your strength is there. Mm. And they look up to you and they want to mentor uh, by you. Right. Okay. So just give example. Let's say uh, everyone comes to, to you uh, for advice on bringing up your children and how you build your relationship with your spouse. Uh, what can they do? What bes Besides, how can I teach to the masses? Mm. Um, teaching is definitely one area that a lot of people are looking out for. A lot of people now looking for short courses or what we call short information mm -hmm. quick information right so start with something if let's say these are like uh, your target audience right so if they are the ones that usually spend time scrolling on let's say um uh, instagram right so teaching in instagram do instagram like posting like maybe like 30 seconds or one minute nothing more than that right mm -hmm. um if your audience are more the facebook types hanging around around there then do that Right, mm -hmm. so you actually start to build community of people and give a lot of values, give a lot of educations towards them. Interesting. Okay, yeah. but they, uh, we we will have that question as well. A lot of these women will say, "I don't know how to use the social media." So, what what uh, platform or what uh, resource can we do to learn this this skill? Yeah, there is actually a lot of uh, education or even like free education in youtube that teaches how to use uh, uh any of these social media my uh, my preference is just focus on one first mm. right let's say for example instagram or tiktok in fact in tiktok right i saw a few ladies who are in their 60 70 80s they just talk about like there's one lady she was talking about financial planning basic life financial planning and there's no like makeup, beautiful background, like what you have. She was just like this, you know, um, hair not really like perfectly in place. You know? But every of her video was 30 seconds. And just she just teach about, talk about one to three points. That's it. Simple. Yeah. So the key thing is just get into action. And I always say that the first hundred that you do, right, it actually helped us to build confidence. It also helps us to build our content. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. And of course, as you go through it, you begin to realize that ah, I I like this or I don't like this. Okay. Then they start pivoting. Right. Yeah. Oh, you wonderful advice, Tracy. And okay, so we are uh, to our audience. We are gonna plan for a live session webinar, and uh, so look out for the description, and I'll put it out there. But before we go, would you give your word of wisdom for women who are looking to pivot in their career? Yeah, I believe that everyone has something unique, right? That the world needs, like what I say just now, right? So the key thing is to find your spark and make your mark. Great advice. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, my dear. And I look forward uh, to, to do the webinar very, very soon. Yes. Have a great day.